Testimony in the highly anticipated trial took 15 days. And this verdict may hinge on Bella Bond's mother and whether jurors believed her testimony. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Boston with the latest. Christina? Well, the jury deliberated for a little more than two hours this afternoon. And before they got the case, when the jury was not in the room, the defense attorney had some strong words for the judge. I know you're you just are. screwing up the whole case, and, and you're giving the jury an opportunity to do something that the Commonwealth wants you to do, and you are just buckling under. Defense attorney Jonathan Shapiro blowing up at the judge over a jury instruction that deals with whether jurors can convict Michael McCarthy, even if they don't think he acted alone in the murder of his ex girlfriend's daughter, Bella Bond washed up in a bag on a Winthrop Beach two years ago while the couple lived silently in a haze of heroin addiction. It looks like a woman who is sticking her tongue out at the world saying, watch this, I'm about to get away with murder. Shapiro showed a selfie of the prosecution's star witness in his closing argument, the two-year-old's mother on the very day she told a friend McCarthy did it. Shapiro reminded jurors they heard a recording of McCarthy teaching Bella to fend off monsters. His advice did not work. In the end, the monster came for that little girl, and it was her mother. But prosecutor David Deacon changed the focus to McCarthy and the day he allegedly went into Bella's room to calm her down. By the time he was finished beating her and or asphyxiating her, she was dead. Even if the Boston Harbor washed away forensic evidence, Deacon said McCarthy's figurative fingerprints are all over the dumping of her body. People don't dump bodies to cover up evidence of innocence. People dump bodies to cover up evidence of guilt. The jury got a verdict slip with four options, either not guilty or first-degree murder, second-degree murder, or involuntary manslaughter. They pick up where they left off tomorrow morning. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBC News. Christina.